I'm Jonathan. I'm Stephanie, and clearly I am better than Jonathan because I get the better chair. Oof. And today we're here to review the new comedy, Pitch Perfect 2. So, what were your expectations going into this? I seriously didn't think that it would be as good as the first one, me going into it, like, oh no, I know the music's going to be good, yeah. the singers are going to be good, like, it was, they're talented people. But I didn't expect to walk in there and basically pee myself. I was laughing so hard. It was just... Everything put together, to me, in my opinion, was perfectly funny. Yes, I agree. I had a lot more fun with this one than I did the first one. I thought it was consistently funny. Humor was a lot more mature this time around. It really was. <laughs> um, there's a lot of relationship <laughs> stuff going on that I'm like, oh god, they're going here again and it's going to be cliche. But no, it wasn't. I was like, oh my god, this is actually really funny. And also, uh, we had this one character in the first one that wasn't there a lot. He was this reporter guy. And he's really racist and sexist and just biased against everything. He's terrible. But, but he's awesome. hilarious. Exactly. And he was in it so much more than in this one than the first one. And to be honest, it was perfectly perfect the way they did it. Right. And of course, everyone's favorite Fat Amy is back and she is funnier than ever. Fatter than ever. <laughs> oh, I hope not. But, uh... <laughs> anyway... Fat Amy was great in this movie. And also, there was a lot of new celebrities in it, like the Green Bay Packers. They were surprisingly talented and really fit, if you know what I mean. Right. So, the thing about celebrity cameos in movies is often they're just thrown in there just to say, like, ooh, oh my god, it's T-Pain or Iggy Azalea, like Furious 7 did, which was awful. They really had no purpose being there in the movie other than, hey, look at me, I'm a celebrity. But this time the celebrities actually play a big part. And I also want to give a shout out to, who was that guy's name? Who was the music producer? Uh, Kian from Kian Peel. Yes. The comedian. He was hilarious. Perfect. In this movie. Just everything about him. He was rude, he was nasty, but yet he was awesome. Just like the way he treated everyone, like, it really, it really showed how talented and funny he is. Right. Now, of course, what you can expect going into Pitch Perfect 2 is a great soundtrack. Amazing soundtrack. And being a music junkie that I am, I literally listen to everything and if I don't like it I'll should up say wow that sounds like someone just pooped in my hand and threw it against the wall like that's how I feel but this was everything was fun it was upbeat they brought in some old songs that are really good and then they brought in a lot of recent songs and you'll see that the soundtrack has a lot of songs that like you just want to get up and start dancing it's like the whole theater when we went was just like so energetic and like you can tell everyone was into it like everyone kind of bobbed their head and stuff like that and I know I was sitting next to my brother and like he was, he was jamming too. He was really jamming. Right now, even though this movie had a lot of great things going for it, it did have a few drawbacks. Uh, I thought that the new Bella character that they added in was kind of unnecessary. The newbie was she was very young, very kind of airheady. Like the, I just didn't like her character very much. Yeah. She didn't fit. Like it was kind of just like, oh, we need to throw a new Bella in there just because like she's a new face. Like. It's pretty much, Go. hey, I'm the new girl, I'm a freshman, I don't know anything, I Yay. need guidance, but my life is so oh, awful. Again, Jonathan's a waste of space. Also, the final thing that at least I thought was an issue with the movie was that it ended really abruptly. It was, it was really abrupt, but at the same time, it's like... Like, it was like, oh man, new Bella perfect. legacy, and then, bye! Sparkles. Literally, there were sparkles. I thought it was sparkles. It was sparkles. They are both. Bubbles. Sparkles. What is wrong with you? But the Bella was just thrown in there, and then the ending was just kind of like, okay, now she's going to take over, because to be honest, she was the only freshman. She was the only one staying. Like, she has to get all new Bellas, all of this, all of that, and if they make a Bitch Perfect 3, I know it's going to be terrible. But, like, you know what? It's whatever. Right. So, Steph, what would you give this movie? I'll give it three, three and a half stars. Like, it was really entertaining. This is a, this is going to be a great summer film. So it's like, you know, summer's right around the corner. Once it comes, like, a lot of people are going to go see it and stuff like that. And a lot of people are going to find it online. You know, wink, wink. So I really enjoyed Pitch Perfect 2. I thought it was a lot better than the first one. I thought it was a lot funnier. I thought the uh, humor was a lot more mature. I thought the characters were stronger. The music was back. And I just thought the overall atmosphere of the movie felt like it knew what it was and it made fun of the fact that it had some cliches sometimes but overall it was a complete blast which is why I'm going to give Pitch Perfect 2 a 3.9 out of 5 stars. Stop mocking me.
So, if you like the review, please like it down, add a comment, subscribe. We also sell some really good merchandise at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters. You can get some really cool crop tops, shirts, hoodies. Yeah, stuff like that exists. Make sure to check that out. Have an excellent day. Or not. Your choice. It's up to you.